The Lexus LC500 is facing challenges in the market. After a strong year in 2021 with 2,782 units sold, sales dropped significantly in 2022, with less than half of that number. While there was a slight improvement in 2023 and 2024 year-to-date sales have surpassed the previous years, it seems unlikely that the LC500 will ever recapture its peak sales. Even if Lexus managed to get large numbers of this flagship coupe on the road, similar to the success of its SUVs, it would still feel too limited. That's because the LC500 offers a driving experience that's truly unique, especially in its convertible form. The joy of the V8's roaring soundtrack combined with open-air driving and luxurious leather interiors bathed in sunlight is an experience more drivers deserve. But the LC500 convertible continues to be underappreciated. Enhancements for 2024, making a great car even better. Lexus likely never expected the LC500 to be a high-volume seller, but the brand is showing its commitment to the model by introducing a series of updates for 2024. One of the major criticisms of previous versions was the frustrating touchpad-controlled infotainment system, which many found difficult to use. Lexus has responded by replacing it with a more intuitive 12.3-inch touchscreen, a welcome upgrade for the 2024 LC500. Additionally, the Lexus safety system has been enhanced with new features, including emergency evasive steering assist and intersection collision avoidance, front and rear parking sensors, along with a 360-degree camera, are now standard. In line with luxury car trends, Lexus is offering more personalization options through its new bespoke build program. For the LC500 convertible, this program allows buyers to choose custom paint, upholstery, wheels, trim, and features that aren't available through standard configurations. Bespoke build options for the LC500 convertible include unique choices such as dark red or blue roof fabric and a striking white and blue interior color scheme, like the one in our test vehicle. A special plaque near the shifter marks these bespoke build models. Opting for this customization adds $5,500 to the base price, with our well-equipped test vehicle totaling $117,660. Despite its underwhelming sales, the 2024 Lexus LC500 continues to represent the pinnacle of Lexus design and performance particularly for those who appreciate the thrill of convertible driving. Worth six figures even standing still. The allure of the LC500 convertible begins the moment you lay eyes on it. Its design remains as breathtaking as it was when it debuted in 2016, more akin to a concept car or bespoke creation than a mass-produced vehicle. The car's elegant proportions are combined with striking curves, creating a body that exudes understated sophistication. The intricate lighting at both the front and rear deserves attention, particularly the taillights, which feature an infinity mirror effect that gives the impression of endless depth. While the LC500 convertible might not have the uninterrupted fluidity of the coupe version, lowering the soft top opens up the cabin, showcasing its luxurious interior. The interior design is as stunning as the exterior, with sweeping lines accented subtly by metallic trim, allowing the rich leather surfaces to take center stage. The attention to detail is extraordinary. Even small elements like the steering column surround and seat bases are perfectly color matched with the rest of the cabin. When the doors are opened, you'll notice an intriguing forged composite material used between the inner and outer panels. A standout feature of the cabin is the new infotainment touchscreen, a marked improvement over previous versions. The interface is mostly intuitive, though some users might recognize similarities with systems used in lower-end Toyota models. Lexus wisely keeps physical buttons for most climate controls, but there's room for improvement. For example, adjusting the seat heating or ventilation, key for top-down driving, requires pressing tiny digital icons, which can be frustrating. Driving a modern classic. Tucked away in the center console is a physical switch for lowering the fabric roof, alongside another button that raises or lowers all the windows at once. When the roof is up, the cabin remains impressively quiet, but lowering it, an operation that takes about 16 seconds, transforms the driving experience into something sublime. Much of that is owed to the engine, and not because of how powerful it is. 
With heritage that traces back decades through Lexus performance vehicles, the 5.0-liter naturally aspirated V8 is a relic in today's turbocharged and electrified era. Its 471 horsepower and 398 LBFT of torque aren't stupendous figures by modern standards, nor is the 4.7 second zero to 60 miles per hour time it delivers. Additionally, the 10-speed automatic transmission has terrific shift quality but doesn't use its abundant ratios optimally. The gears are very long. Second goes to about 60 miles per hour, and at 80 miles per hour, the digital tachometer languishes below 2,000 RPM in tenth. Rather than speed, it's sound that makes this engine epic. Always audible, but never too loud. The mill rumbles bombastically on light throttle and builds to a spectacular bassy roar with the pedal down, letting the engine bounce off the limiter just beyond its 7,000 RPM redline is uncouth behavior for such a suave vehicle. But Lexus celebrates how sonorous the LC500 is. Indeed, there's no digital exhaust augmentation here. Only real noises from the chrome-clad finishers in a tube that transmits engine sounds directly into the cabin. The LC is an unexpected inclusion among the best-sounding cars on sale today. A rumored high-performance LCF seems unlikely to materialize. Yet guiding the LC500 convertible through Canyon Road curves doesn't leave much to be desired. Clearly, this is not a sports car. Beyond the lengthy gearing, its steering is relaxed and the roofless body structure perceptibly supple. Yet the adaptive suspension, bestowed with a convertible-specific tune, holds the car in deft composure as the chassis limits approach. Furthermore, the LC500's rear-drive platform fosters engagement in a way that all-wheel-drive performance vehicles simply can't. The LC500 convertible also excels in casual cruising. Like any Lexus, it makes for a placid and uncomplicated way to get around. Despite the car's low-slung appearance, space beneath its nose is sufficient to avoid scraping on parking blocks or steep driveways. As the front and rear axles are roughly equidistant from the driver, locating the car's extremities proves more intuitive than the sizable body might suggest. The driver and front passenger have a great amount of space, plus accurate ergonomics that enhance comfort and control. Predictably, the back seats and trunk are minuscule. Cargo capacity is compromised by roof hardware. Luxurious as it is, a few items, or lack thereof, reveal how times have changed since the LC500 arrived. The digital instrument cluster, with its nifty motorized tachometer bezel, is small, low resolution, and barely reconfigurable in comparison to what's found in generic Toyota models today. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto run on the new touchscreen, but wireless charging is nowhere to be found. A more assistive lane guidance system would benefit relaxation in highway driving. Imperfectly idyllic, in the exclusive sphere of luxury convertibles, the LC500 is in some ways outclassed. It lacks the raw performance that makes enthusiasts 